ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल In this video we are going to create different dispersion effects in Photoshop CC 2017 it will be fun so let's jump in Photoshop Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create different dispersion effect. Before we start, let me just show you some examples so you could be you would be understand what's going on uh in these uh, actions. So in this video, so before we start, let me just show you some examples. So this is the first example and you can create this effect using these actions. This is the 3D circles effect. This is the simple circles effect and uh this is the splatter effects. and uh, the in uh, in this is the particular effect or the can we can say that particles effect and in the last this one is dust effect okay so you can control everything here uh you can intensity change intensity these are the dispersion effects and uh, you can control everything as i said you as i said so let's just start our work without wasting any kind of time uh before we start uh this effect is totally changed okay so make sure to watch this video complete so you would understand how we can create these effects so let's just close this thing and uh uh yes we can uh, before we close this let me just show you how we can create this so we can uh, separate we will uh, separate the model from the background and then we will create some path this is the path dispersion uh, so how much area you would like to disperse and we will create another path which will be path model okay so let's start our work without any kind of time so you would understand what's going on inside these actions so we will close this thing sorry about the traffic it's day time and i i don't know how we can do that so okay so this one this is the image so first of all we will separate it from background so let's just select our uh quick selection tool and we will create selection okay like this outside this and let's just press uh shift and we'll add this into our selection then we'll add this also into our selection and uh, yes we are fine with the selection process uh yes and that's it now what we will do is we'll simply just go to uh uh where where is select and then go to inverse now the selection is around our character that's gro that's great and now what we will do is we will create a press control and j what we will do is we will simply just separate the original character from the background and that's the thing which we have done now and now we will create a new document so go to file new and from here uh we will go to film and videos and then we will select our size so we will give it a custom size we will use 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels this is not exact size you can change any you can change the size but keep it above from 1000 pixels okay so this is the basic thing the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and i am going to change the background content to uh transparent okay that's it and we will name this as uh dispersion okay that's great now we'll click on create and we have our canvas here press control 0 now we will simply just bring our model to our newly created document that's it uh now we will adjust the size press control t uh that's it these all steps are not necessary for you but for this image i am doing this so you would be understand from very basic like this okay 
you can do that same step on here but you have to increase the side room so i want to use a white background simple so the effect looks much better uh that's nice okay now we'll fill this background with white color so white color is our background color so we'll press alt plus backspace to fill it with background color and now we will copy this model layer twice and i will press shift and select both of these layers and press ctrl e now we have model in background also and in separate layer also that's great now we will name this layer as m o d e l model okay so the name is model in lowercase now we'll select our background layer and we will go to uh, layer new background from layer now it will lock this layer and fix this layer as our background that's nice now it's time to load some brushes and uh, uh, action file so what we will do is we will go to uh, what we will do is edit uh, preset manager from the preset manager uh, check your brush type is brushes click on load from the load when you will download the file there are there are two files inside that one is brush file so we will click on brush and click on load like here I have loaded them twice so it's not a big deal that's great and now click on done okay and now it's time to load our actions if you don't see this icon in right hand side of your corner or, or, or your palette just go to windows and click on actions from the actions uh, I already loaded it so just go to this uh, top bar icon click on load actions uh, inside that file you will see a dispersion actions uh, action file so click and click on load as I already loaded it so I don't need to do that again and click to open this and you will see that there are five different uh, you can say that particles uh, uh, styles here which one you like you can apply that so before we do that let's just prepare the setup so we have a model layer here as I showed you and a separate uh, model layer okay a background layer and a model layer okay so that's great now we'll click on this path if you don't see this just go to windows and here you will see uh, these paths okay so there we have click on paths we will create a new path and we'll name this as a uh, model read this name carefully paths first name is uh, capital letter and model first name is model capital okay so path model keep in mind that and now we'll select our pen tool and uh, simply just there is sim these settings are same as is there you can see that don't touch anything else here so just go to this uh, model and click on the model area which will be selected for dispersion so I, I am going to use this area for dispersion effect like this you can select the outline or you can select the mask it's not a big deal the area will be picked from uh, this side that's great and uh, yes that's it don't need to close anything else just leave it as it is and now we will create another uh, path name this path as a uh, dispersion okay so spelling there is there should not be spelling mistake or otherwise it will create error now we will select the area on which the dispersion effect will be applied so now we will select the area uh, on which we want to apply this dispersion effect so I want to do like uh, like this so I have selected the path you can see that you don't need to close anything else just leave it as it is as I, as I am showing you and now we will get back to our layers and everything is now ready now what we will do is we will simply just go to actions and select which actions we want to apply so I will use dust actions because I like dust, dust uh, actions very much 
and now before we do anything else uh, just go to this layers panel icon and click on panel options from the panel options make sure that you have a add copy to copy layers and groups is checked and then hit ok and now go to edit purge and all it will close and remove photoshop history and your action file will work very fine now select your dust uh, uh, model or we can say the dust actions and click on play button it will not take so much time but it will take a little time to complete this work so wait for the process to complete its work the process is done and you can see that uh, this is amazingly done and keep in mind that whenever you run these actions it will create a random effect so play with the actions and find what uh, you like most uh, result and uh, press ctrl alt and click it will close everything at once and now you can increase the intensity of these actions and uh, decrease and increase this is just a copy and from here uh, you can uh, uh, even change the intensity from here also this is the best thing i have seen and uh, i really like this effect and uh, i hope you like this also you can play with the settings same thing for all actions if it is creating some error don't be worried about that just close photoshop or reopen this photoshop and make sure that check the paths and this file will be removed you just create an a, a, again create a new and then name it path model and again select the model area and then that's it you can create your effect i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up and please don't dislike the video because it really uh, hurts okay I, I paid a lot of tensions and when it gives a single dislike i don't like single dislike it it really hurts so i hope you guys understand and uh, nearly i will create some photo manipulation tutorials pretty much amazingly and uh, i hope you like those too please like my photoshop uh, manipulations tutorials also because i also pay lots of attention to those tutorials okay so i hope you like this video these action files are included in the project file you can free download all of these files link is given in the description uh, under this video we will meet in our next video keep in mind never stop never depend and keep learning